Hi, my name's Terry Bean, and this is a documentary of Connie's. All right. Um, how long have you been doing this? I've been doing it for nine years. Nine years? Yes, sir. Where are you originally from? Houston, Texas. Where did that bring you? A friend of mine I met on the road, and he told me about a, a show, and I started uh, nine years ago working on a ride, and I went from a ride to a food wagon, and now I do food, games, and ticket boxes. This is your favorite ride? The favorite one is the Ferris wheel. Yes, sir. What's your favorite one to ride? The merry-go-round. Mm -hmm. Now, you, uh, you let kids get in free sometimes? You hook them up? Oh, yeah. Back. I, I, when I see little kids under three years old, five years old, I feel sorry for them sometimes, and I and I let them go. I know I'm not supposed to, but I do, you know. Yes, sir. Uh, so, uh, uh, well, I mean, it's just going through the hair, uh, tornadoes up in Minnesota, and because we travel all the way up to Minnesota from Texas, we go through uh, Tulsa, Oklahoma, Iowa, Louisiana. Texas, and we end up being up in uh, Minnesota for seven, eight months, and I enjoy it. I mean, I, some of the things I've seen, some of the people I've been with, is yeah, you know, I never imagined, pe you know, people that I work with, and I think it's wild just because of that. I I have uh, two friends that I work with. That they from uh, Houston, and oh yes sir, yes sir, and uh, <laughs> well I can't say it on the air, but uh, I put it like this: I had one that was pregnant that took some Vicodin after we had sex. And, and she came out and said that it was okay for the baby. <laughs> and uh, it was me and a friend of mine game banged her. Yeah. And I'm like, it was awesome. I enjoyed it. <laughs> and, oh, yes. She got more than a free ride. <laughs> but... Uh, Well, oh, I I know uh, when we go to certain towns, like the next town we're going to is uh, Meet, Louisiana. Um, there's a big game fight in in um, Generet, Louisiana. There's big games there, and sometimes we see fights among the customers, and then when we off not doing the show. Some of the carnies gets drunk, and they don't they don't know how to handle the alcohol. And oh yeah, we we take our own. You know, we don't call the police. We you know. Tell me, uh, have you ever seen anyone get injured on the ride? Yeah. Where do, where, how many uh, in one of the rides that I was booked in with the show, uh, they didn't pin a certain ride, and I can't say because my boss asked me not to. And one of the uh, kids got hurt, and they got rushed to the hospital because the whole seat came off. And uh, nobody got killed, but they got hurt. And um, one of the worstest things that I've seen is one of the carnies got killed driving down to um, Missouri to go get a slide and find out he didn't have a license. And he was doing over 90 miles per hour and lost it and killed himself and his girlfriend, you know. So I've I seen a lot of good things and a lot of bad things. Uh, trash, white trash. I've been called um, stupid, you know, and a lot of times idiots, you know, that we don't ha have no sense, no, we ain't clean, which we are clean. 
the trailer that I live in is very well taken care of. Um, some people look at us like we idiots trying to steal arrive from people and, and move on. We're not like that. I mean, we, we run an honest show, clean show. We do have some people that, you know, is on drugs and that, but we try to weed them out. You know, it's just like anywhere else that if you're going, yeah, yeah. You, yep. And who? A lot of they running from the law. A lot of them's running from uh, having probation warrants out on them, and a lot of them just running from the self to find who they are. You know, I know when I started, which was eight years ago, and this be my ninth year, is I had to get out here and find who I was. You know, because, yeah, I had a nine-to-five job making 50000 a year, but I wasn't happy. I had a, and I'm 46 years old now, and I'm enjoying this. I come every summer and do this. And I sit back at home during the winter, just, you know, count what I've done. I, I mean, I have a brand-new house, a travel trailer now, and I don't have to worry about somebody taking it from me. And uh, just because I work on the road and, and I work for a carnival, that don't mean I'm a dirty person and I'm running from the cops. But there's a lot of them that will, and they will tell you, you know. Well, we, we want end up going to Albertville, Minnesota. And like I said, uh, they was taking a vehicle to go get a ride up in uh, Missouri, and they lost control and killed both of them, the driver and his girlfriend. And they told her the truck. And that, that was the biggest moment, you know, because I never was around that. And then I never was around people cutting people, you know, when we got in our own fights and everything. I wasn't, I wasn't used to that. Oh, yeah. Their own. If they get drunk enough, we had one that went after somebody with a machete. And he's in jail. He's no longer with us. But, I mean, we don't, we don't put up with it. But one thing we don't do is we don't let people, you know, beat up on us either. You know. Oh, yeah. It was in, uh, it was in um, uh, Mauriceville, Texas, and it was right about, I'd say, 17 miles from my home, and um, my nieces and nephews came out, and I have six of them, and they was playing, and my boss said, hey, you do, let them play, you know, and give them what they want, and one of their friends came along with them. And I, you know, I took care of them. And sometimes you could do that, and sometimes you can't. Uh, you, all I can say is you meet different people, strange people. I mean, real strange. <laughs> I mean, I, we have all kinds of people. We have, we have gay people working for us. We have bi. We have straight lesbians, everything. But I tell you one thing now, it's just like a big old family. They know where they stand. And one thing about it, everybody who works in a carnival fits right along. It's like little misfits. And, and I enjoy it. I mean, if you work good and ride right along with them, you don't have no problem. If you work against them, you got a problem. In the last nine years, besides money, I found a lot of money. I have a boss that actually cares, and if he cares about you, he takes care of you. You know. So uh, I say uh, I found myself, found who I was. You know. You know. I, I found myself and who I was, 
and my, you know, I'm a human being just like everybody else, you know. Just be, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm the type of person. Once we get the show open, we're a big old act. Long as we make the kids happy and make them enjoy themselves, we, I, I accomplish something. And that's, hey, that's all that matters to me. That's it. And more of the smiles than money. I mean, because I got my own. I mean, I didn't come out here poor, but I came out here wealthy. And I and people know that. And I tell you one thing now. First time I made a kid happy, that made my day. Now, is there anybody on this circuit that you've done? Anybody that's alive here? Uh, they, well, we not, I don't belong to this show. I belong to another show. And if you was with our show, I could tell you who. And believe it or not, it, it's a preacher that's supposed to be gay. And I, I mean, it's a trip. It really is. Yes. And he's cool as hell. Uh, Damien, I don't know his last name. He's from Minnesota, too. Texas. Oh, you ain't lying. Everything's bigger. Right, now, one more thing. Tell me one of your more women shows. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know I worked. I, I know I worked at an uh, in the ticket box last year, and a woman showed me her breast to get uh, some tickets, and uh, I couldn't do it, but I wanted to. And then I had some that wanted to take me back to the motel, and uh, which it did happen. And, but that's not the biggest thing. The biggest thing to find out is he was a transvestite. <laughs> yeah. And, no. <laughs> I left, and I, but I enjoyed it.